Welcome back to Valencia. I'm Nick Harris sitting alongside me, Matt Burt, down in pit lane, Dylan Gray. It's the final showdown. The final front row, Lorenzo Marquez, Pedrosa, row two, Alasia Spargo, Cal Crutchlow. Technical problems mean he'll have to start from the back of the grid. Bradley Smith in sixth place. Third row of the grid coming up. It's Andrea Iannone, the top Ducati, Paula Spargo and Andrea De Vizioso. Fourth row, Danilo Petrucci, Maverick Vinales, double winner here. Michele Pirro, also a winner here in Moto2. Row five, Bradl, Barbara and Loris Baz. Row six, Nicky Hayden on his farewell appearance in MotoGP. Head of Yoni Hernandez and Alvaro Bautista. Scott Redding, Jack Miller won the Moto3 race here last year. And Mike Demeglio, row eight, Amp West, Eugene Lafferty and Tony Lears. And what about this last row, Matt? Brock Parks. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. It's... Here is the front row. All the talking, everything that has been said. And here is poor old Cal Crutchlow having to start from that back row after a mechanical problem with the LCR Honda. The final warm-up lap of the season. The final showdown of this extraordinary 2015 MotoGP World Championship. Who will be champion? Valentino Rossi or Jorge Lorenzo? GP World Champion is all on the line, all to play for in the next 43 minutes or so. Lorenzo versus Rossi. Final word with you, Dylan. Conditions look per 600 journalists from all over the world. This is the sport. Tension builds inside the factory Yamaha garage. Can Jorge Lorenzo become only the third rider in MotoGP history to overturn a points deficit coming in to the final round of the championship? We're about to find out here in Valencia. Valentino Rossi takes his place on that back row of the grid. Jorge Lorenzo is already there in pole position. 30 laps, four points. Point zero zero five kilometers, 2.489 miles. The talking has stopped. The championship will now be decided out on the track. And it's a dream start by Jorge Lorenzo from pole position. Look at Valentino Rossi streaming up the inside down into the first corner. It's going to be 99 Lorenzo though that leads the way from Danny Pedrosa who's come through from the second row of the grid. There's Rossi trying to find his way back through the field. He's already up the inside of a few riders. Rossi now up the inside of Loris Baz at turn. Number two Lorenzo though leads the way. Rossi sliding his way through the field. Wow, it's coming through there like a knife through butter at the moment. Pedrosa up the inside of Mark Marcus. Lorenzo, though, has got the dream. He's going to change. One lap gone. Rossi needs help from the Honda. There's no doubt about that. Lorenzo leads over the line at the end of the first lap. Valentino Rossi then down in 15th place. He's about to move up the inside of Nicky Hayden, the 2006 world champion. Hayden will run out a little bit wide. Rossi can't find a way through on that powerful pro at the Ducati. Rossi will finally make it stick up the inside of Hayden down into the mid and court. This is where the championship was decided between the two of those back in 2006. Whoa, it's pretty hectic there, but Valentino Rossi trying to calm his way back through the field. There he is, 46. He lost the championship here nine years ago to Nicky Hayden at the front. Lorenzo not able to get away from Marquez. I'm sure both the Hondas know they mustn't let him escape at the front. Rossi having real difficulty finding a way through on number 68, Yoni Hernandez. No way through there as they run down on the brakes. There is no Rossi brilliantly late on the brakes. He's finally past the South American. The crowd go wild here in Valencia. All 110,000 of them there cheering on their hero. Rossi then now up into 14th place. Whoa. And he's up the inside of Bautista as well. Super aggressive from Rossi. He's on the charge. Rossi on the charge up the inside of Alvaro Bautista. There is Rossi has been completed and Lorenzo set the fastest lap at 131-416. Rossi in the slipstream of Stefan Brahms of Prilia. Rossi picks up one more place down into the brakes at the first corner. Valentino Rossi now up into 11th place. He's on the fringe of the top 10. Next in sight is Michele Pirro. He is a man on a mission. He is in the zone. 
Lorenzo still leads at the front. Fastest lap of the race. But Jorge Lorenzo, 130. Can Lorenzo get away? That's got to be the big question in terms of the outcome of this world championship. It's Valentino Rossi down in 11th place, but he's over five seconds back on the, this is where he picked off Hernandez on the last lap, he's up the inside of another Ducati on this lap, he dispenses with Michele Piero at turn number eight, this is where Rossi went down in qualifying yesterday, Rossi then inside the top ten for the first time. Now it's 12 points between him and Jorge Lorenzo, Lorenzo still leads the way at the front, the two Hondas, oh, you know, he's down. Oh, you, Andre, you know this, crashed out, and that means that's another place for Valentino Rossi. Yanoni has crashed out of the race. Giannone, now it's 12. Yanoni down at turn number 12. He gambled to run that asymmetric front tyre. We were worried about it overheating on the right-hand side. Was that the issue for the factory Ducati man? Jorge Lorenzo has put in another fastest lap of this Smith in those first two sectors. So Rossi chasing down Smith for eighth place. The gap now under eight tenths of a second. Here is Lorenzo heading for the 2015 MotoGP World Championship as it stands. Field. Here we go. It's Andre De Vizioso, Alessio Spargo, Paul Spargo, Danilo Petrucci, and it's Rossi got past Bradley Smith. Listen to the crowd. You know he has. Yeah, Rossi's been brilliant on the brakes going down into that turn number eight. He picks off Smith. That's where he took Hernandez. That's where he took Michele Piro. The gap now 10 points between Lorenzo and Rossi. Are the Hondas, though, going to run into those front tyre issues? Is Marquez and Pedrosa's right-hand side of the tyre going to start overheating? We'll find out very, very shortly because the gap between Lorenzo and Marquez, Lorenzo's eked it out again to just over four and a half tenths of a second. Next on Valentine. Valentino Rossi's shopping list and he has to tick off is his great mate Danilo Petrucci of course finished second to Valentino Rossi in that rain soaked British Grand Prix at Silverstone they race down towards turn one 24 laps to go another epic MotoGP battle in front of 110,000 people here in Valencia listen to the crowd Rossi through on Petrucci who runs it wide Smith goes through as well. Yeah, it didn't look like he had to work too hard, did it, for that move on Danilo Petrucci. Petrucci had a good long look over his shoulder. Rossi then threw into seventh place. Paul Espargaro in sixth. He's about one second clear of this battle for seventh place. Petrucci ran so wide into the midfield corner at turn number two. Bradley Smith was able to sweep through as well. Lorenz, this lap number seven. Valentino Rossi has already picked up four tenths of a second on Paul Espargo on that Tech 3 Yamaha. Here is Lorenzo, the way second Lorenzo, marginally quicker again on that last lap from Marquez. Here is Rossi, there's still a long, long way to go, there's still 23 laps to go, we're not even anywhere. It's being headed by the factory Ducati of Andrea Di Vincioso, but well, there's less than a second now, covering Di Vincioso in fourth, down to Rossi in seventh place. We're on board with Rossi through the angle on the Eto corner. Now this is where Rossi's been really strong on the brakes, down into turn number eight. He's not going to be close enough to strike on Paul Espargo on this lap. He can really do his chances a great deal of good. There's three in front. He's got to snap them up pretty quick. He's closing on Paul Espargaro all of the time. Down through turn 11. Little short straight than that. Left hand kick at turn 12. Where will he make his move? Here we go. Turn 12 now. Up through 13. Over the rise they will come. And Rossi closing on Paul Espargaro all the time. Now, can he get a run down the start and finish straight down into turn one? Yeah, the factory Yamaha against the satellite Yamaha. This is where Rossi will be looking to. We ride with Valentino Rossi. Lorenzo is advantage at the front, coming up to around seven tenths of a second. Davizioso, Alessio Spargo, Paula Spargo, and Valentino Rossi still running in seventh place. Can he get up into six? We ride with him. This is where he likes it. He's up the inside. Listen to the crowd. Valentino Rossi has passed. They touch. Him and Paul Spargaro touch elbows. But Rossi has made his way through. Well, he had to be aggressive coming from the back of the grid. That's exactly what he has been. Valentino Rossi, he picks up one more place. And for the first time in this race, Rossi inside the top six. Here we go, this is that move at turn number six. 
Run for the spy about a little bit wide. The spy grow, you can see clearly Rossi was on the inside there. It was a hard move, but it, it was a fair move, no doubt about that. Cal Crutchlow, of course, who had to start this race from the back of the grid after those technical problems. He's just got himself up into the point scoring places. Spargaro down to turn number eight. This has been his favourite overtaking spot in this race. Is he close enough? We know a later Spargaro is a real demon on the brakes. We know that Suzuki's got phenomenal braking stability. It's one of the sweetest handling motorcycles on the grid. And Rossi as yet has not been able to find a way through by on that GSX RI. Can't find a way through there at turn number 10 either. Through turn 11, he comes Rossi, so, so close to the Suzuki. Up to turn 12, here comes Rossi, right leg out. Can't do it just there. Then they flick it left, over 13. Eight points between them as they come through 13 into 14. Rossi surely will make his move as they come out of here and drag down towards turn one. Rossi's Yamaha should have the legs on the latest Spargo Suzuki. But Spargo got great drive coming out of that final corner. Can Rossi close up? Here he comes out of the slipstream. Rossi's got the inside line. He'll make that move up the inside of Alasia Spargo. He runs it a little bit deep. Espargo takes fifth place back. Oh, still eight points between them and they cross the line. Marquez has pulled back another tenth of a second on Jorge Lorenzo at the front. There's De Vincioso. There is Alasia Spargo. And Valentino Rossi is through this time. And the crowd go wild. And this time he has made it stick. Coming out of turn five, up towards six. number five. So Rossi then up inside that top five. He's got Andrea De Vizioso just ahead of him on track. Jorge Lorenzo is still leading this race. The gap's come down a fraction by uh, four tenths of a second now. Marquez is trying to close that gap back. He's picked up a couple of tenths on the last lap. Danny Pedrosa has upped his pace on the last lap, actually. Pedrosa just set a personal best lap of the race. He was four tenths of a second quicker than Lorenzo. Back with Rossi. Rossi closing up on the Ducati of Andre De Vizioso. What a battle these two had. The opening round of the championship in Qatar. Little did we realise where this championship would be going. Here comes Rossi, not quite close enough. Get the drive out of here. Down the start for the straight they come. That Ducati has got a lot of grunt, as you can see. Seven points separate Lorenzo and Rossi. 18 laps ago, and the gap at the front nearly half a second between Lorenzo and Marquez. Of that Ducati coming out of turns far, turn six and turn number 14. He's a great late breaker is Andrea and Joso. Not late enough both to hold off Valentino Rossi. The crowd go absolutely crazy in the background. Rossi then inside the top four. The gap down to seven points. That's the advantage that Rossi had coming into this race. It's now back down to four. Very rarely cracks under pressure, does Lorenzo. Will he be able to survive this pressure cooker atmosphere? This pressure being exerted by Mark Marquez. They're about to come and complete the 14th lap of this Valencia Grand Prix. It's Lorenzo just from Mark Marquez. I just want to get there, will be world champion. Is that correct? I want to make it absolutely. He's well clear of Valentino Rossi in fourth place. Not enough, though, for the 36-year-old to wrap up that 10th world title. Well, nearly is piling the pressure on Jorge Lorenzo. Watch this start earlier on from Valentino Rossi from the back row of the grid. Lorenzo got the dream start from the front row. Rossi got a brilliant oh. launch off the line. He was obliterated away from Tony Elias from Brock Parks. He's already up the inside of Eugene Laverty. There's Jack Miller on the outside of the track. Scott Redding peeling around the outside as well. But Rossi had already picked up at least six, seven, eight places on that drag down to the first corner. And for the first time in this race, while we watch this start replay, the gap between Lorenzo and Marquez is just over two tenths of a second. Can the Hondas bring the whips? 14 longest laps of Jorge Lorenzo. Three. The slowest lap of one third. Will Mark Marquez come through to take what would be his sixth win of the season? Well, one, one thing just to mention, obviously, with Jorge Lorenzo's pit board, they're advising him where Rossi is very important, but also on Rossi's four motivation. It doesn't say any names in there, but right next to it, you have P4 and P1. So he also knows all the time <laughs> where Lorenzo is and also how far the gap is. Yeah, they're not telling him where Mark Marquez or Tani Pedrosa is, are they? What a shot to get involved in a cat fight with Mark Marquez in the last few laps.
here. The last thing you need with the World Championship at stake is to get into a bit of a dogfight with Mark Marquez. Now, a three-way fight for the victory. What a second half to the race for Danny Pedrosa. You can hear a pin drop here in Valencia. There's 111,000 fans here. They are silent. Not a word is spoken. Mouths are open. People just cannot believe this battle. Here they come once again. Onto the back straight, onto the front straight. Lorenzo crosses the line. Two laps to go. Two to go. Marquez has not made a move yet. Pedroza is right up there with them. The World Championship will be decided in two laps of the Ricardo Tormo circuit here in Valencia. In the rear tyre of Mar Marquez. Is Pedroza going to make a move at turn number six? He's not quite close enough. This is amazing. This is motorsport at its very, very best. Danny Pedros has taken second place from Mark, Mark Marquez. That Mark Marquez tries to fight back. Lorenzo out a little bit wide. Marquez back up the inside of Danny Pedros. The two reps will hold him fighting. This is music to Lorenzo's ears while they're jotting it out. Lorenzo's away at the front. It is two and a half miles of Jorge Lorenzo's career coming up. The final lap of an incredible 2015 MotoGP World Championship is underway. Will it be Lorenzo? Will it be Rossi? It's all about Mark Marquez. Number six through the kink at seven. Lorenzo's not going to come under attack from Mark Marquez. He's ridden a perfect final lap so far as the number 99 through this tight, twisty infield section. No way through here for Lorenzo. Lorenzo's going to take the championship, surely. Up through nine and ten for Jorge Lorenzo. Half a lap to go, one hand on that World Championship trophy. Now he dips it into turn 12, two bends to go. Jorge Lorenzo standing on the brink of his third World Championship. Danny Pedrosa's out of this, Lorenzo is going to come through the final corner. It's Lorenzo's now to lose. Jorge Lorenzo will be crowned the 2015 MotoGP World Champion. 99 wins here in Valencia. 2015 belongs to Jorge Lorenzo. Joy and jubilation on one side of the factory Yamaha garage. It'll be contrasting emotions on the side of number 46. Valentino Rossi comes over the line. He put up a great fight, but Rossi is not the world champ. Rossi crosses the line. Second in the world to Jorge Lorenzo. Enormous applause of Valentino Rossi. He actually could have done no, no more than what he did. The championship slipped through his fingers. He produced a brilliant last lap with Jorge Lorenzo to win that world championship. His seventh win of the season. And for the fifth time in his career, the third time in MotoGP, Jorge Lorenzo is the king of MotoGP. Champion, forget the shenanigans. He's won more Grand Prix than anybody else. And that was the ride of a world champion. That also was a ride of a world championship. Brilliant, brilliant performance by Valentino Rossi. But he has lost his championship crown to this man. Five points was the difference at the end of a remarkable rider who's been behind on points has come through to win the world championship. Commiserations to Valentino Rossi. He really could have done no more. Trusting emotions on the two sides of that factory Yamaha garage. And Mark Ma Marquez yeah. fans as well. Back to Barbara there, sporting out a number one because he has won the Open Class Championship, Barbara. He finished outside of the points at 16th, but with Lois Baz down in 19th, Barbara is the top Open Class rider in 2015. Listen to the reception for Valentino Rossi. Could have done no more. He knows that that tenth world championship has just eluded. He is a worthy world champion, no doubt about that. Uh, smiles of Valentino Rossi and a thumbs up. He could have done no more than what he did. It was a brilliant ride. Crown will be supporting him 
I really hope, though, they give Jorge Lorenzo the reception he deserves when he stands on that top. Commiserations from Valentino Rossi's army of supporters, as Nick said. He could not have done anything more. He was on the back foot. That grid penalty dropping him to the back of the grid after all the controversy in Malaysia. He fought his way through to fourth place to Jorge Lorenzo. They're on their way home. Well, on the way home, I think they're on the way down the start and finish track at the moment, aren't they? It's like a knot. <laughs> He's found his feet now, isn't he, Jorge Lorenzo? <laughs> yeah, he certainly has. Ah, I got us a cheap P. We'll just run through a, a couple of stats and facts about Jorge Lorenzo. He's the first Spanish rider to win the Premier Class World title on three occasions. He's the second most successful Spanish rider of all time now for Angel Nieto. Start to the year for him, wasn't it? Over Qatar with that helmet trouble.